Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a WiseCam V3 or a WiseCam version 3. So the WiseCam V3 is an indoor or outdoor camera. It can be placed in either location, and it is powered uh, by this cord here. You're just going to plug it into a standard outlet with the power adapter that is included with this, and then that's going to be able to be set up indoors or out. So in order to get this set up, the very first thing you need to do is download the Wise app. So we've got the Wise app open right here, and once you've got the Wise app downloaded, you've set up a username and password, all you're going to do is go up here in the upper left hand corner and you're going to click on the plus symbol and then that gives you some more options. Now we're going to click on add a device here and we've got options here, camera, sensors, power and lighting. We're setting up a camera so we'll click on that menu option here. It's got our different options for cameras and we are setting up the WiseCam V3 so we're going to click on that right there. It says plug in your WiseCam V3 into a power outlet. To plug in the WiseCam V3, it comes with this power adapter and cable. So we're going to plug that in, but we also need to plug it in the back here. And you can see on the cord on the back of the WiseCam V3, it has this connector and cover so that you can put it outside and you're not going to get water in there. Now, what's important to note is that the connectors need to be aligned the correct direction. So you can see there's some shape on this one and uh, there's also some shape in there. You need to make sure that you align it the correct direction. So if you're having a hard time getting it connected, make sure that you've got it aligned correctly. And then you're just gonna go ahead and push that in together. Don't force it unless you're sure that you've got it in the correct orientation. So we plug this in and then the camera is going to light up. So we plug the camera in, it started with a red light and then goes to a blinking red light. Once we get the blinking red light, we can click next on the WISE app. So we're gonna click next. The instructions on the app say, pull the base away from your WiseCam V3, press setup underneath your camera. So once you open up this base here, there's two buttons on the bottom. You can see we've got one over here, it says setup and the other one says SD card. So we're gonna press the setup button here and then we're going to click next on the app. So I'm gonna press setup here. Ready to connect. It said ready to connect. So we click I heard ready to connect and click next. Now we need to select our network and enter our password. The next screen on the app that pops up says scan the QR code below with your WiseCam. What we're going to do is take this camera and point it at our phone with the QR code shown and it should scan it. So Ready let's go ahead and try that. Ready to connect. QR code scanned. Please wait. We heard the QR code scanned, so we click Second next. Completed. In order to get the QR code scanned on my phone with the WiseCam V3, I held it about three inches away from my phone, and then once it scanned, it gave a beep and said it had been scanned. Shortly after, when I clicked the next button, it said setup complete, and now we've got a blue light on the device indicating that it is set up. Once it connects, after it has scanned that QR code, it gives us options for naming the device. I'm just gonna call this one front porch cam and then click finish. Now we've got options for a two week free trial. I'm just going to click continue here. Share access with family and friends. I'm going to click maybe later. It says new firmware available. Let's click upgrade now. Now we're going to click update. It says, what are you using your new Wise Cam for? I'm going to click Outdoor Security and click Submit. Now click Close. Now the camera is updating. I just click the X to get out of that screen like it says because the camera will automatically reset when the update is complete. And you know that the camera will reset when the light turns back to the solid blue, which we've got here. 
For me, it took about two to three minutes for the camera to go through the update. It could take longer for you. So I'm going to click through these and just go to the next options. It says pinch to zoom here. Now we're taken to the main screen for the Wise Cam V3. Here it says connection failed, and that's most likely because we had the camera all set up and then it updated. So all I'm going to click is this reload button and it should reload what's happening at the video. And you can see a live view here of me in the camera while we're recording and what's going on with the camera there. We've got several options here. We can have the sound on, but if I click that, I'm gonna get a lot of feedback right now. So I'm gonna turn that off. We can record. We can actually speak and have two-way communication through the camera. So if I wanted to do that, I would click speak. I can click here and it will take a photo. You saw that photo just be taken and slide across here. I can click record if I want, and I can click more. And we've got some options here uh, for motion tagging, creating an album, time-lapse camera, uh, having a siren go off. So let's try that. Let's uh, turn that off because that's pretty loud. And then we can also view the playback of events if we click down here. So click here and it says a continuous recording requires a micro SD cord. 12 second cloud recordings can't be viewed in events. So let's look at events. Um, there is an SD card slot on the bottom of the camera right here next to that setup button. So I recommend putting a micro SD card in there. Uh, that just gives you more versatility. You'll have it stored both in the cloud and locally. So it gives you both options there. And then you can see there's a calendar here at the top that'll show you all your different events by day. So you could click on either one of these and it's just gonna show you a recording of the video here. So you can see that and then we'll just go back. You've got options there to delete those clips or save them if you want. Now let's go back again and we're going to go to our front porch camera right here and we can see the live view. Now, if we click up in the top, we've got some settings up here and we can choose our detection settings. We can change our name here. So if I click detection settings, uh, you can change the motion sensitivity. You can change the sound detection sensitivity. If you wanna have a detection zone, you click here. And what it's gonna do is then allow you to select locations uh, for detection. So you can click the different block areas and then have motion only detected in those areas. So I could click all these different ones here, or I could just take my finger across and say, hey, that's where I want motion detected. And then uh, I would click save, but I'm gonna click clear for right now. Uh, so there's a lot of features in here with this WiseCam V3 that uh, weren't necessarily available on older versions of the WiseCam. Plus this has a lot better video and it can be indoors or outdoors. So a nice little camera uh, at a pretty good price point. You've got event recording here. We've got some uh, different options here. Detect sound, detect motion, uh, smart detection here. And you can have it do person detection, passion detection, vehicle protection, uh, pet detection as well. Or you can have this friendly faces uh, detection. So it'll let you know when it recognizes uh, somebody that it's already recorded in there. So let's click back, um, go back again. Uh, notifications here you've got options for how you want to be notified on the different events let's click down again you've got alarm settings it says when the camera detects standard t3 or t4 alarm sounds from smoke and co alarms it will generate a 12 second alert video and send you a push notification so i think that's a great option uh, basically it turns your existing smoke detectors into a smart notification system because the wise cam is going to notify you even if you're not there or if you are there so that's a really cool setting we'll leave that on advanced settings down here uh, you can record to your micro sd card manage the sd card you've got night vision modes here uh, i usually just leave this on auto uh, camera status light if you don't want that light on uh, maybe it bothers you at night you could turn that off uh, you can rotate the image if you've got it mounted upside down. Uh, Timestamp, Wise logo. Let's take off the Wise logo. No reason to have that on there. Uh, record sound, and you can sync the time. So we'll click back there, and then let's click on accessories, just see what's in there. Oh, so here we've got other accessories that will work with this or that we could add with this, uh, the spotlight or the floodlight 
or the lamp socket. So we'll just click off of that for now because uh, we're not gonna add any of those. We can add uh, some rules here if we want, automated rules so we can create schedules or device triggers uh, or location triggers and we can create shortcuts. So we'll click out of that. Um, you can share your device with other people in your household um, or other users. You would just click here and add them. And then we've got our device info, which is just gonna have our info for the Wi-Fi network uh, and the serial number of the device. And then down here, if you need to restart this camera for any reason, you could click down here and restart it. Or if you need to delete it, you click right there. And that's pretty much all we've got for this video on how to set up your WiseCam V3 or how to set up your WiseCam version 3. A pretty neat little camera at a good price point. Uh, it's got the SD capability, so it'll record to your SD card, but also can record to the app or the cloud. It can go indoors or outdoors, and it does have 1080 HD resolution. So pretty good resolution, as you can see on the phone here, and you can click and you can zoom in and uh, see what's going on even more there uh, with that. So pretty cool, and it's got a nice compact size. So you can put this pretty much anywhere inside or out and it's not gonna to be too intrusive. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your WiseCam V3. Please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click on any links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.